Hi everyone. Okay, this is um, a new hints and tips video and it's a follow on from one I've shown you before. It's using the photo um, editing tool that I use called Be Funky. And I, before I showed you how to prepare a reference photo ahead of starting a portrait, so converting to black and white, enhancing the colours, etc. This time I want to show you something that I'm always preaching to people and I'm very um, guilty of not doing it all the time myself and I haven't done it on my latest cat portrait so I thought this was the ideal opportunity to not only catch up and do so um, but also to show you guys how to use it. Basically what it is, it teaches you how to do spot the difference and as soon as you pop a your drawing up onto the screen you can just see things much clearer on there and then if you do so by popping it right next door to the reference photo um, you do something called spot the difference and you instantly see all the differences where your colors are out your contrast is out where you've gone you know a little bit out of alignment and if you did it at each stage of your work, work in progress you can make sure you are staying well on track so this will be quite interesting to see how far out i've gone but i I know I haven't gone too far that I can pull everything back and make sure everything's in alignment. So rather than using the photo editing tool this time, we're going to go up to the top left here, a little drop down here, and we're going to switch to the collage maker. Now you can use this collage maker to do lots of things. There's lots of different layouts, there's grids, um, there's different photo wraps. You can create your Facebook cover, all these different layouts to pop pictures into. So what we're going to do though, we just want to pop two pictures side by side. So I'm going to pop into the computer and upload my images first of all. So here we go, we've got the black cat reference photo and I want to put my latest work in progress photo next to it, which is cat5. So here you go, they've uploaded here on the left hand side. So now I want to pop two images next door to each other. So we will go to grid and here you get two by two. Um, two by you know, one by three, all the basic grid shapes. So we want to choose one that suits. So we just want two blocks side by side, and we will probably just have to change the ratio of it a tiny bit. Go back up to the top to your image manager, and as we've only got two images, I'm just going to click auto fill. And what I want to do is I, I tend to put my reference image on the left hand side. I don't know why, but that's what I'm going to do. So let's bring this up. That's about right. So we've got, there's my cat image there. I'm just going to adjust that across so it's about the same alignment as the reference photo. Obviously, I haven't got the tail in yet and other bits. Um, it's not looking as bad as I thought. Basically, what I've been doing is working this whole right hand area, trying to get rid of you can still see it's quite rough there, so I've still got a lot more layers to put in over the right hand side. Um, but I can see here already I need to just soften the area around underneath the ear. I'm going to highlight the top of the ear a tiny bit too, soften down over the nose. Obviously, I've got all of the mouth and the muzzle, I'm just starting on the underneath chunky fur it's mainly around this right hand side i need to bring up a lot lighter and not worry about the highlights and also down on that leg as well i can add a little bit more highlight in there so it's not as far out as i thought i think i'm just tired and struggling because i've got quite blinkered working on this i just thought i'd just show you quickly like say how i use this little tool and why um Okay, so what you can do then is you can save this then. Obviously, I'm going to pop in, I'm going to save it back into that folder. And then I can flick this up um, and flick between my reference photo and this. I'll probably use this tomorrow when I start back on him and um, make all those little adjustments that I need to do. But hopefully you can see from this quite clearly just how much more highlights, how much more light I can put in there. Um, and also some more soft areas underneath the chin. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that actually, surprisingly. So I'm just going to save this. Um, I'll call it Cat Collage 1. You can change, let's like, say again, the size 
you, you want to save it as. I'm just going to save it about sort of half a meg there. And you obviously, obviously can save it as a PNG, but we're going to save it as a JPEG here. And I will save it back into my cat folder. And that's it really. And like I say, if you do this at each stage of your works in progress, you shouldn't have to worry about going out of alignment or you should be able to keep your highlight, you know, your contrast and everything pretty much in place as you work your way through. OK, so I hope that helps and that explains a little bit of why I keep saying do this side by side comparison. It just really does save you a bit of stress and worry of like, oh, have I got it right? Have I not got it right? OK, I hope that you find that a benefit and thank you very much for watching.